How do you guys? Good morning and welcome from Wales. Welcome to Jordan Morrison Racing. I love cars, motorbikes, anything with an engine. How do you guys? Good morning and welcome back to the channel and as you can see I'm here on a campsite for the first time. This is the first time that I've ever been camping. So we basically took the van which isn't a camper van. We modified a couple of things for it which would help us camp and basically got an air on in on the side and decided to come to Wales at a campsite called Ruout which was only 29 quid for the night. They had a lovely restaurant on site so we had something to eat and then this morning we've made some breakfast and yeah it's been really good actually but today's video isn't about camping it's about taking a van all the way from wales where we are now to manchester to drop off all the camping stuff then pick up all the new t5.1 stuff to then drive it all the way up to durham for its full respray so i just thought i'd sort of introduce you to where we're at now and where we're going with it so i'll show you around the van show you what we sorted and what we set up for camping and also show you what the bits that i'm going to be changing to make the van look a little bit nicer than what it is a lot of people won't agree with changing from a t5 to a t5.1 but to be honest i got all the bits cheap got the respray cheap got to give it a go let's go for it so here's my T5, as you can tell, and it's 2005, 170,000 miles on it. And as you see in my previous videos, you know, it's had a new engine and all sorts. Um, but now I'm at the point where I just want to make it look a bit nicer. I mean, a lot of people will agree that, you know, it's not too bad. You know, it doesn't look like that much of a bad van. But from my point of view, there's loads of bits that I want to change. So. As I said, we're going up to Durham today um, and then it'll be going in for its respray. It'll be there for a couple of weeks. The lad's doing me a fantastic price, so I thought before it goes for its respray, I'll do a bit of a film to show you where the van is currently at. So, as you can see here, close up, all the rust in the arches, yeah. So you've got a lo loads and loads of rust. So this full front end will then be changing so this is a t5 at the moment for those that don't know and it'll be going to a t5.1 i could have gone to a t6 front end but i'll be honest with you i don't really like the t6 front end and then as we come around this side this full door will be being replaced so we've got a crease in the door here we've got a mark here and a mark here and then the actual door doesn't work on the fob so it's worth replacing a full door the handles knackered inside you know we've got loads of scratches and marks it's had a previous respray before so you know it is a 2005 van but it's very 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 dated and um yeah it just needs you know fresh lick of paint really so i just thought i'd show you around it we'll go into the tent so down the side of the van you know we've got little bits of rust everywhere so rather than just spray it silver i had a discussion with the lad who we're going to meet up in durham and we had a chat and we said you know what let's do a full color change for what it's worth so if you open up the door you can see in here you know it's pretty bad really so once it goes in for that it'll basically have I'll show you around here so the changes that will be on the van once it's done is it'll have a sport line spoiler on the back then we'll come around the front it'll have some nice sidebars which it hasn't got which make a massive difference i think i'm going to be going with the wheels staying black and keeping the wheels because i'm pretty happy with them they were 80 pound on wheels absolute bargain and then from that we'll be going full front so on the front we're going to have the t5.1 bonnet the t5.1 grille the new headlights the new bumper and the sport lines 
you can tell it's early and the sport line spoiler at the bottom i'm not going to put daytime running lights in because everyone does it and i don't really like the look of it and then we'll be going with a full color change which as you know if you've seen my previous motorbike video i love leaving my vehicles with someone and not actually finding out what color they're gonna do it i think there's some excitement in that there's some risk obviously but you know for a full respray for a van usually people are sort of quoting around three and a half to four grand this guy's far cheaper so yes i am taking a risk but the van is going to look so different and that's why i just wanted to sort of show you around her before we actually make that massive change so that's enough about the van let's move on to my setup for the night so this was the first time that i went camping um in general I've never been camping before no one's ever took me and i thought well we've got the van me and my wife wanted to get away for the night for cheap cost us 29 pound at this campsite which was great so we decided to get this all pro lupo breeze tent i think it was bought this second hand absolute bargain um we've probably not set it up the best way but this came with everything it came with the ground sheets um i decided to fit a rail to the side of the van it's not a fiamma or anything like that i've just basically got like a c rail that goes into the gutter so it basically clips on and it's a drive away awning i think i paid about 150 pounds for this awning which is not bad at all and the best thing is it's air so if you're like me and you have no knowledge about putting up tent and putting all the poles in and you really can't be bothered this goes up in about 15 minutes really we've left it an absolute mess in here but as you can see this is our little setup so you know we've got little things like we've got this kitchen set so i bought this from go outdoors and it was actually a x display most importantly the tent we've stood the wind we were looking at winds of about 27 miles an hour last night so you know it's really good tent and i'm pretty happy with it and then onto the actual van inside what we have done now you've got to bear in mind before i open this door i've done this on a budget we haven't got a rock and roll bed we haven't got anything fancy but what we have got is a projector screen so in here we've got projector screen we've got telly if you want the telly so you can have movies on or you can watch the telly and then we've got diesel night heater so it's been nice and toasty in here so that's one of the chinese diesel night heaters that everyone complains about that's been running all night no problem nice and warm i do advise that anyone that puts one of these in puts a an alarm in so that will go off as you can see so when you're fast asleep you're not going to be killed and then down here if you can see there we've just got power inverter as well so we've got power now i started off on about 12.7 volts last night it's been running all night we've watched a movie and watched a telly and had other stuff running off it and it's at 11.9 with a night heater uh, got a nice little table there and then most importantly we've got the wife and then above her you can see we've got a speaker at the back there we've got the projector which i will put a link to and we've got tv so this little device here which is amazing so if you can't get wi-fi anywhere it will always give you tv so you don't need wi-fi so that's basically set up and then we've got the double bench seat which folds down so that all that is is a double bench seat i've got another double bench seat behind here which folds down for the space and then if you look underneath we've got your bed sheet mattress which was shocking do not buy a high gain mattress and then all you got is wood so that's it really there's nothing fancy about it it takes five minutes to put together and uh yeah you're saying hello bad night's sleep bad night's sleep we pack up the tent uh pack everything away go to manchester drop off the tent drop off all my camping stuff load the van with everything required for the respray drive up to durham leave it there let it go in for its respray and then go and pick it back up hope you enjoyed bye bye bye, bye.
Bye, 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 bye. machine all the stuff for the conversion is now in the van i'm really sorry that i didn't manage to video putting it in but what we're going to do is crack on to durham because i've got to get all the way up to durham to drop all the stuff off to then get the train back for six o'clock so fingers crossed we'll do this and um, we'll crack on it's two hours and 15 minutes roughly from where i am and then i'll unload the stuff have a quick chat with a guy drop it off and yeah wish the van the best of luck so hope you've enjoyed this little following my day today it's been a bit stressful and i'm sorry i've not managed to film as much as i wanted to but we'll crack on how do you guys i'm here and i am now in durham it's took me about two and a half hours sat i've said two hours 15 but everyone knows a t5 van is slow so we got here in good pace not too bad uh, and it weren't a bad journey at all so i'm here at john's body shop john doesn't want to be on camera totally understand it people don't like being on camera so i'm gonna do a quick walk around of the van what we're actually changing for those that are interested and i know a lot of you know about a t5 to a t5.1 um but i'm gonna talk about the other things that i'm doing as well while we're at it and then once we've done that i'm gonna unload everything and leave it with him so that's it really so we'll crack on outside t5.1 what you'll change basically is your bonnet front grille front headlights front bumper which will also be color coded and then changed with a sport line splitter on the bottom of it and then as we come around this side this door <coughs> so i'm basically replacing this full door it's just cheaper and easier i've got another t5.1 door and the reason why i'm replacing a door is it get it's got a crease here as you can see and it's got a big dent there and then the mirror gets changed anyway as part of a t5.1 and then you can see another crease there so rather than repair the door it was just easier to replace it for another as we come around the bodywork's got various marks on as you can see but it is relatively clean for you know a 2005 plate t5 with 170,000 miles on it it's not too bad so we'll be replacing the badges we'll be replacing the rear lights then i'll be replacing this grab handle and if you come around here we've got a lot of rust on this arch someone has done a bad repair in the past on this i don't know whether you can see that on camera and then if you look all in here it just needs a good good bit of love basically and um, this door here we've got a big scratch on it and then a big dent you literally can't miss it and then can you see where someone's painted it here and painted it there and then this front wing rather than paint it we're going to replace it because you can see the amount of rust on that wing and also i think i've got some clear lights but i actually can't remember and then this mirror will also be changed as well and that's basically it really now i was going to go with silver again but for the reasons that I spoke to john and he was like listen i can do the whole lot of silver but silver's a hard color to rematch and if you ever want to paint it again or you get a dink you know it's just a hard color to blend in so so that's it really so i'm going to unload the t5 get everything out and then uh, just leave it in a workshop now i must say his price was fantastic and that's the reason why i've gone with him and the suggestion of doing the same silver or doing a full color change 
there was nothing in it so it was worth doing a full color change what that color change is going to be i do not know because you know how i am and with my motorbike i left it with a guy to wrap it and didn't want to know the color and that's the same with this so we'll come back to this van when it's finished It isn't a washing machine as it says, so in here we've got various bits like new headlights that are going to be going on, mirror, rear lights, you get the gist basically everything in this box, wing, Okay, and here, because we're going to a sport line, we've got basically fog lights, a harness for the fog lights, the fog light switch, and nice cam fibre grab handle. Rather than paint it, let's stick it with a bit of carbon fibre. Eh? Side bars because everyone likes the side bars, protect the sides. Gone for a nice matte black. This one is definitely a personal preference, but I quite like them. So in here is basically a black bonnet deflector. Look lovely with them on, they look lovely. Okay, so this is the Sportline Splitter. Okay, and this is... Now, you have to ignore the state of it. As you can see, it's had better days. Second hand T5.1 from bumper. So what we'll be doing is chopping all that bit off, getting rid of that, hate the look of that. Putting the new Sportline bit on the front. Happy days. That bumper, 20 quid, absolute bargain. Rear spoiler, and you've got your inserts. And then last of all, what you can't see, which I'm not pulling out now, but we've got the new, I say new, it's not new, is it? We've got the second hand T5.1 door, which we're going on, and a T5.1 bonnet, and that's it really. So I'm gonna load these inside, and that's it for today. There's all the other bits as you can see and yeah i'll leave it with john and uh, we'll be coming back in about three or four weeks time hopefully to see this whole van in a brand new light Ooh. catch you in a bit guys thanks for watching bye bye bye